welcome guys welcome again to another more in-depth video here thank you guys for my new subscribers thank you guys for watching my videos thank you uh appreciate it it's helping the channel grow i appreciate it uh so much make sure you leave the if you have a question or anything like that leave leave your comment on the bottom of the video um so i'm here here in my uh in my channel here uh this is if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe there so the application here i wanted to show you guys uh i wanted to show you guys how to use partial views uh, as the application grows, um, you want to practice uh, the dry um, and do not repeat yourself. So um, let me show you what I did with the partial views. So here's the application. This is the UI. This is the one for the customer. You 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 see the nav bar on the top. And you also have the in the bottom here, you have the the footer. And of course, here in the center, we have the proper, uh, we have like products and stuff. All right. So what, what I did is I, when you log in, let me go ahead and log in real fast. So now in the admin panel, it only shows this area here. It does not show the, uh, the uh, customer navigation. So it's a different one. And also to the footer is gone. Um, so I ended up using partial views for that. So how did I accomplish that? So let me uh, also, if you haven't, uh, if you don't, if you haven't followed the videos, make sure you watch the videos, but I did an update on it. So you have, you know, you have access uh, to the application here. That's the demo and any updates that I do, you can actually see it here. So uh, how I accomplished uh, right now, uh, let me go back over here to the application. So this is the um, this is a partial uh, partial partial view right here. This one, all, all my partial views, I actually use underscore. So this was for the one for the header. This is the one for the footer, and they they're over here inside my share uh, share folder. So see if you hear it says underscore header, all of that. So then uh, also the footer right here so i created a condition here um i have folders called utilities so inside there inside the utilities i have this here so see one for the customer for the admin and pending uh, payments and things like that so i don't repeat myself so here i put down uh i mean i did an if statement here uh condition is, it says if a user is enrolled and it's not equal to uh, the admin uh Go ahead and display this. So that's how I accomplished that. So just I did a simple um, statement here, if statement. So that's that. And I did the same thing for the header. So that's, I mean, sorry, for the uh, footer right here. And inside the layout, I didn't do anything. I didn't do, you know, I just showing the regular. Um, you can actually also, um, if you take a look, when you log into the page, uh, let me go here. Let's go back. Let me go ahead and log out. And when you log out, hold on a second. So I've also fixed this right here. So when you log out, so it logs out. I got it. It says you can click log out. So it sends you back to the home page. And then when you go back to the theme, which is like that the home page. See, you you have to register. Um, you can log in. All of that. So, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and log in. So, so it's two different panels. So see all of that. So two different panels. Let me see here. Pretty crazy, but uh, so let's say I want to. I'm gonna go back to the products. See, it's not gonna display if you're the admin or something. So, uh, but yeah, all right, cool. So that's that. So that's the products. Uh, you can actually. You can actually add more products. Um, then we have categories. 
right here. So yeah, that's what you can do for the uh, for the properties. Um, you can also you can also uh, use JavaScript to do what I just you know instead of using the conditions here with the C sharp, you can actually use uh, JavaScript to do that. So you can actually do it inside the home page right here. So this is my landing page. So when you log in, uh, let me go back over here. Let me go back to the home page. Let me log out. Let me go ahead and log out. See how you go here. And you go to the product. Um, oh, the car is empty. Uh, you can go to the blog. In here, let's test the blog. I haven't logged into the blog in a while. Let me go ahead and upload a photo. So let me go here to the post. I have zero, so I'm going to go ahead and create a post. So let me put down. Um, amazing pose. The tag I want to do web development. Is this going to be technology? Uh, so I'm going to put down subscribe. Subscribe for more videos. Okay, and then let me pick a pick a file. Let me pick a picture. Uh, let me see if I have any pictures. Oh, let me go here. Let's pick. Uh, let's pick this one. Mm, yeah, let's pick this one. All right. So let me hit submit. Okay, there's the picture right there. You see that? There's the picture. So now we can let me log out. Let's go to the theme. Let's go to the blog. There's the picture right there. And you can you can read more about it. See, there's the picture there. Pretty cool. Subscribe for more videos. See another great it says an amazing e-commerce thing. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, so let's talk about partial views. So I'm over here on the website, the uh Microsoft. So it tells you uh it talks about partial views. It says uh, as the applica application grows, you can break it up and you can break up large markup files into smaller components this guy it's uh reminds me of uh, angular when you create like little components like you want component for the nav bar one for the body one for the footer you can use another one for the register that's kind of like what like that and you can actually instead of uh writing the the whole entire code you can you can actually um uh you can inject it to on all the components so which is almost kind of like that so it says reduces the duplication and, co and common markup content across markup files. When the same markup elements are used across the markup files, a partial view removes the duplication of markup content into one partial view file. When the markup is changed in a partial view, it updates and re-renders the output of a markup files that use in a partial view. So yeah, so partial views are very handy for a lot of stuff. Like for example, if I wanted to go ahead and uh, uh, just go ahead and, and and cut this off and, and inject and create a partial view. I can I can put it pretty much across everything. And that's what I have for the not bar. Let me show you guys. So all of that you guys can actually access that uh in 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 my GitHub. And I would like to I would like to see how you um you know grab the code. Maybe you want to do some updates and if you want to go ahead and share it with me, you are welcome to. Um so uh, you know, this the sky is the limit. So see over here, I'm using the the I have the index, the detail page. So I wanted to show you how I have for the admin panel, I have a bunch of uh see I had one for the this is for the site uh the admin site not bar. So I have it right here. So I what I did is I cut it. So then I have one for the um for the uh, I still I'm gonna inject everything into the dashboard here. 
Uh, so I'm going to create another one. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and change everything like the admin panel into the dashboard. But uh, let me so, show you here. So I have the header. Inside the header, I have one partial view, which is a not bar. So see, you can inject an, another partial view inside an, uh, an, inside a partial view. So see, I have one is the header, and this is the not bar. See this here. This is the not bar. This is the, the one you see when if you're if you logged in. I see I have a condition. If condition here, if user is roll in, it's the admin. But yeah, then I have also you can create a a, a component. See a component, and then you can use the shopping cart, which I have it right here. So you can do it differently. And then this here, see that's for the. It tells you, it tells you when you add up the items on it. So that comes very handy. But yeah. But that's uh, that's the project. You guys feel free to check it out, update it to, you know, you can download it, update it to, you know, update it to whatever you please. This is the logo. You get a free logo for that. And you can change your email. You can change your phone number to whatever you please. And uh, see, that's the home page. That's the one that talks about the project. Okay. But uh, anyways, guys, so... Don't forget to share, subscribe, you know, help the channel grow. Um, I, uh, let me see what else. If you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me. Uh, there's some more links I have. I have a, a personal website there where I show. Let me see. That's that. That's Oh, that's my GitHub. I'm sorry. That let me to click on that. Uh, personal website right here. Don't forget to watch the video where you can actually deploy for free. And you connect your GitHub to the uh, to uh, Netflify, and you can actually you know show some of your work there. If you, I'm pretty sure you guys have some work there that you guys have been working on. If you guys want to show, it, make sure you watch the video there that where I show how to connect your GitHub to your Netlify so that way you can actually upload your work. Yeah, the work can look nice on the desktop, but if it's better if you're trying to get a job, you want to share it to the world right here. So if you got what it says, if you want to watch, it's very simple. It's only, uh, you can do it in less than 10 minutes. So, all right, guys, thank you again. You guys um, take care and stay coding and be safe. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care.